Hello everybody, Dan Matichek here again. Uh, if you watched my last uh, YouTube video, it was my first attempt on the wheel and it didn't go so well. But um, this time it went a lot better and uh, I have a few things I want to say real quick. And uh, one is um, I have a few things that I'd like to pass on and from the perspective of someone who's um, just starting on the wheel and, and, and I had, was just thinking, it's kind of funny, but it hadn't even occurred to me that the first potter's wheel that I ever actually saw other than a picture in a book or on the internet was the one I built. <laughs> uh, I've, I've just never been exposed to it, although I've always, since I was a kid, thought that it, uh, it was something that I would like to do. And in the last couple years, three or four years, I really started thinking more and more that, you know, I have to do whatever I have to do to, to get the equipment to do it because I, I, uh, I can see that it was something that, it, that I was, that I could be good at. Um, but what I wanted to pass on was a few things, like I say, that from that perspective. Uh, one, don't dirty too many tools. <laughs> Only use the ones that you, uh, like I was basically experimenting. I've never, because, uh, like I said, I've never seen a wheel before. I've never seen anyone throw before other than in videos. Um, and I basically grabbed every tool I had and experimented for a couple of hours down here uh, with some new clay that I got. Uh, standard ceramic. Uh, went to the, uh, the warehouse in, uh, right outside of uh, downtown Pittsburgh. And they are the greatest. I mean, I've been there uh, two times. And everybody in that place just is wants to help you and they're they're interested in, in helping you and they're like they're friendly and from the 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 women that answer the phone, the uh, receptionist, uh, the owner, um, the guy on the dock, the guy driving their truck, uh, it's, it's been a good experience. And um, they I got some clay off of them today that I'm I just couldn't be happier with and which was my problem the first time. Uh, but back to the perspective of the new person. <laughs> um, because I've never seen it before, you know, watching the videos, uh, of course it's a lot different when you try to actually do it. And uh, one thing that, that I think, and there are a lot of people that have videos to, to try to teach this on, um, uh, on YouTube and on the internet, uh, one thing that would help me um, is a little bit more of uh, what you do, like right before you get get on the wheel, what you actually do, besides you know wedging the clay or, or whatever, uh, just you know setting out your tools, as simple as that. I, I you know I, I hadn't thought about it, but when I actually went to do it, I'd think you know do I have everything I need? What do I need to do first? And then of course there's afterwards, uh, like I mentioned the cleanup, um, a, a mention of you know what you do with the water and all that, and in between here, thing that that I think would be very helpful is a shot from up above. Um, you know, it's the, the the perspective is always you know from this way you see it from this way or from the side, and you can't really see it from the perspective of the person you know sitting in the wheel. But for, I think from up above would be very helpful. Like when I was centering clay, you know, it's it's very concealed. I didn't quite know what to do with my my thumb or you know I had um, one problem I had was when I'm, I'm bringing it up. I end up with an uneven like knob at the top, which uh, haunted me the whole way through to the end. So I finally realized, well, I got to do something to get rid of that. I think a shot from the top would be very helpful. Um, and uh, that's really about it for for now. All I would really want to say, except here it is, my first real thing I made on a potter's wheel, and it's not only not that great, but um, it's even thickness and it's pretty much what I started out to, to make and that's the other thing I think is really important to stress uh, to a new person. You take it for granted but know what you're making before you sit at the wheel. Uh, I just started doing stuff and then I thought you know what I gotta know what, I, what I'm doing. So you know that that is something I think I would like to stress to, to new people. And uh, one more time I'd like to thank uh, Simon Leach because um, I mean, without the videos, I wouldn't have had the motivation to, to build this wheel and, and to keep on trying and uh, keep on practicing.